Fu Nuang District. I don't know if that was right, but that's where we are. Nobody wants to look at themselves, Dad. I want to look at you. <laughs> Bubu, why don't you put your clothes in the closet? In the real closet? Because my clothes are good wherever I put them, honey. All right, so good morning, guys. It's uh, about eight o'clock in the morning. We couldn't really set anything up first thing in the morning any earlier, because um, nothing really opens till about eight o'clock is what it seems. And we have amazing internet. It is literally the fastest internet I've ever had. All right, so first thing we have to do, of course, we have to get around. So we have to set up a motorbike. Now, when I texted the landlord when we weren't here in Vietnam, she said she wanted $150 a month, and I was just like, what? Well, there's actually an American that I found his website. SaigonBikeRentals.com Very, very simple. <laughs> very easy to yeah. remember. And then they got the cheapest one here, Honda Wave Alpha, is $40 US a month. But what is the different bit? This is like one that you have to shift. Dude, if it's cheap meaning I can't ride this motorbike at all. You can't, no. And, and it's actually, owns it's it? an American owns it, yeah. I mean, he's like, yeah, do you have an American passport, right? It's like, yeah, no problem. $40 <laughs> a month. <laughs> okay. Dude, that's so cool. One problem solved. Everything's settled. We just gotta do a couple more things. Get this motorbike at 11 o'clock when he drops it off, and then get a cell phone. That's the next thing, it's a cell get a phone. a SIM card. A SIM card. Not cell phone, we have cell phone. We Maybe have both, because our cell phones are horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we are the type of person that we never, I don't think we ever, ever buy the SIM card at the airport. No, we try not to, because it's always twice as <laughs> Yeah, we always, always use the Wi-Fi at the airport to actually book Grab or Uber. Uber is not really available anymore in Southeast Asia. But the case like last night here in Ho Chi Minh City is not really practical because the Wi-Fi, it doesn't really work very well at the airport. So we have to use taxi and that is the first time last night that we actually take taxi and go by the meter from the airport. But it doesn't take, it doesn't cost that bad. Um, Actually, from what Jimmy researched, Grab supposed to cost about 45,000 Vietnamese dong to come to our apartment. The meter pop up at like what? 40? 51 or 53. The taxi driver doesn't want to actually. Some girl just pushed us in the cab. She's like, get it. She literally popped his trunk and started throwing our suitcases in the trunk without him even getting out of the cab yet. <laughs> he had no choice. He yeah. had to take us. Yeah. That lady was a boss. <laughs> she's a real yeah, boss. Yeah, she was the boss. <laughs> yeah, so we will take you to tour around with us our first day here in Ho Chi Minh City and you will see as well what you need to expect. If you don't have an extra passport or a passport for them to hold, it is actually 2 million dong down as a deposit and then the scooter and then the monthly rental. So I actually have an extra passport. Probably shouldn't use it, but hopefully they're not gonna use it for anything and then we'll be good to go. online and just search, you know, cell phone shops and then I had to pinpoint the location of each one that was closest to us 
And then I found this one, which is actually only two minutes walking distance. How am I possibly supposed to cross this road? I think this is my go. My go. My go. There it is. <laughs> Apparently, this is it. I have no idea what this means, so uh, let's hope we can figure this out. He doesn't speak much English, so I think these are phone numbers I have to choose from. I think. I don't mind. I don't mind what phone number I have. I just need internet on my phone. We're gonna mark that as a complete fail. Uh, I played charades for like 45 minutes, but now my phone is in Vietnamese and I don't understand how to get it back and he didn't understand that he had to change it back. And so I think we have to go to like a major cell phone shop or a mall. This is like a baseball cap. This is so cute. Look at it come out real quick. Oh, they come with this as well? Yeah. That's so cool. I don't know if I trust it though. Queuing number. Got it? Can he come? Oh, Lishi! Lishi! And I actually got 12 gigabytes of data for 120,000 plus 60,000 for the SIM card. Very easy. She knew exactly what to do, and we were done. There are two main service providers. So you will see mobile phone and you will see Viettel. There will be like a bunch of people that sell. You will see like a small store that Jimmy went earlier that they sell like a phone, a SIM card. That one is not quite legal here in Vietnam. Okay, so and let I, me say something real yeah, quick, jump yeah. in. So when I was at the cell phone shop, yeah. the guy actually had to call somebody that came in the store 10 minutes later with a backpack full of SIM cards. Yeah. So that completely makes sense that they're trying to cut it down. Because the cell phone shop I went to didn't have SIM cards had cell phones they can't. and then a guy with a backpack showed up full of sim cards 2016 that they started to do it and they say it's about like national scam issue going on you have to come to really like an official store and now getting to like the reason why we picked Viettel is because when we look up and we do research on like the coverage of 4G you can see clearly that Viettel has more coverage than mobile phone All right, so we just got settled in our apartment. It's a brand new building that was just built in November 2018, I believe. Uh, there's like over 25 apartments. Each room comes with a smart card, which is beneficial for them. I can't leave my air conditioning. <laughs> I can't leave my air conditioning on, so it's a little. <laughs> but they're very smart. I mean, all electric, water, everything is included. Um, the beds are brand new. Everything is really brand new, including there's like a downstairs parking garage mm -hmm. and it's all gated by electric buttons. So you just hit the button or use your smart card. All of the uh, common areas are all covered by CCTV mm -hmm. that are run 24 hours a day. So you know you're very, very well protected. I was actually really surprised because when we first got here, I was like, it's like a fortress. Like you had to put in the code. She sent you a picture, so put in the code here walk in, take your shoes off, put in the code in the second door, go inside, get your smart key, tap the smart key in the, in the elevator in order to go up to your floor mm -hmm. and then unlock your door. So there's over three different key accesses accesses before you even get to your apartment door. Fu Nuang District. I don't know if that was right, but that's where we are. Super close to the airport, really convenient. It was only like $2 to get from the airport to here. 
It's then, seven minutes away. Yeah, it's like seven minutes away. And there's a pho place right across the street. And then if you go down a little bit, you can go get some pho. So if you're Vietnamese, you probably know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and there's family mart nearby. There's family mart, there's a park, there's Street pho, food. there's pho, there's... <laughs> coffee shop. There's banh mi, there's a coffee shop. It's all right down the stairs. Wish chipotle and chicken and even nuts. You want some nuts? Jim, you want some nuts? Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, Dominica spring roll as well, even. Oh, they got fresh spring roll as well. They got so many stuff here. That is only 6,000 dong though, Jim. Oh, oh, this is my favorite. <laughs> it's, um, you can look at it as a ham. Wish us luck. Put my jacket underneath there. Like, put the camera down, please. Dude, that's so smart. <laughs> that's so creative. You need to have Vietnamese coffee. Each room comes with one cleaning a week. Additional cleaning is only $9 per time. So you can have your room cleaned as many times as you want if you're super neat. Most of the time when you buy an Airbnb or you book an Airbnb, it comes with like a $30 cleaning fee. But if you stay like a month, most of the time that cleaning fee is used for after you leave. And you don't really have the opportunity to get your apartment cleaned while you're there. Yeah. But thankfully here, they don't do that. They clean it every week. Just like they did in Bali for us as well. Mm. They did that in Bali. So basically, uh, we have to do laundry and send some paperwork out to a couple people. So we're gonna try and hit the things around our apartment. So there's a rule here for this apartment. We all got to take off the shoe and we got to leave it downstairs. So meaning that in this building is freaking clean. Like every step you walk, you don't feel like, I feel like it's so... Chris. Yeah, it's so Chris. And also got elevator. Oh, we can go to M. Why don't we go to M? Because we're gonna go to the basement. So first off, we have to go down to the basement because this is where they set up like a laundry machine. They also set up a dryer there and they also have the iron there. So we're gonna go drop off this. Oh, and all they also provide a detergent powder and the softener for you to use unlimited. It's like a buffet, like laundry buffet. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone has seen the black t-shirt with the words Barcelona Princeton? <laughs> Oh, somebody lived in our room before. Yeah. Oh. Somebody Sorry, you missed your shirt. All right, so it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 5:31. Sunrise is supposed to be at 5:35. We are on one of the bridges. What's the name of the bridge, Sta? Uh, Tiam. It's called Tu Tiam Bridge. Tu Tiam Bridge. And 